Hello everyone, thank you for today's first video, do you enjoy my Friday for today's first video, as always on Friday we're going to have a look at the weather for the month ahead with the uh, Japanese and CFS V2 models later on today around 7 o'clock this evening, um, or between 7 and 8, we'll have uh, Snow Watch, so the beast from the east is going to be arriving within the next few hours, it's already in across eastern Scotland and northeast parts of England actually, it's turning cold there. Um, and overnight tonight, to all places will turn very cold with uh, easterly winds and there will be the risk of snow as well tonight. And then that will continue through the rest of the weekend and we'll cover it um, in Snow Watch later on today. But starting things off, I'm rather late today because I've been out and about this morning. So um, starting things off uh, for today's updates is JMA Friday May Snow Watch will be with you this evening. So we'll have a look at the 500 with our high zombie charts from the Japanese model first of all and then we'll have a look at the CFS V2 compare the two and uh, see what's happening. So this is the 500 bit of our height only from the uh, North Pole down. So we've got the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just there. And the middle latitudes of the, mid, uh, the Northern Hemisphere are around there. Um, and uh, the British Isles, of course, is uh, just there on this particular uh, view. So these break down to week periods. The first, week period, the first weekly period will take us from uh, today, the 16th, through to the 23rd of March. Blue extrapolates to below average heights, which is low pressure, and yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. So for uh, the week here, we've got this area of high pressure blocking around uh, the north of the country again, from Scandinavia through to uh, Greenland, and then we've got below average heights underneath it. So we've seen quite a lot of this over the past few weeks. A jet stream is on a subly track down there, and we're pulling in more cold air from the east and from the north around that trough. So it's certainly starting off with more cold weather in the uh, week head, as we know. We go through to week two, and this will take us from the 23rd through to the 30th of March. And uh, this one's looking very unsettled. We've got below average heights from the Atlantic moving into the UK and then into Europe as well. We are losing the blocking signal. That's weakening. So as a result, with above average heights beginning to uh, build down there, we're probably lifting the jet stream a bit further north. So... I mean, we're not talking about anything to get overly excited about, but it's probably turning a bit less cold there as we're running into the final week of uh, March. But it does look very unsettled uh, in that scenario. And then we go through to weeks three and four. It takes us from the 30th of March through to the 13th of April. And it all looks rather strange, uh, really. So we've got below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic just there. And to our northeast, and then maybe, so maybe we're doing something a bit like that with the flow and with the jet. So we might be building a bit of a ridge there. Bear in mind, this is a two weekly anomaly. Um, so it's a little bit indeterminate, I think, what's happening there. But I suspect as we're going further into April, we're probably seeing signs of ridging developing. And so it's probably turning more settled. We should be breaking out of that very unsettled weather that we're having week two anyway. Gradually, I suppose, turning a little bit milder and a little bit more settled as we're going into the early part of April. Uh, so this is the mid-latitude and tropical uh, view but, and uh, from a gem And we're up here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on uh, this particular view. You can't see the North Pole, but we know we have got the blocking uh, up here uh, with the below average heights down there. And we're pulling in the winds from an east or northeasterly uh, type direction. So the precipitation anomaly in the week ahead is uh, coming out drier than average. So below average precipitation coming up. Um, but also really cold. Look at these temperature anomalies. They're significantly, again, significantly colder uh, than average. Not just for the UK, but uh, for many parts of Europe as well. So we've seen a lot of this over the past few weeks. And we've got another cold week coming up, certainly from the 16th through to the 23rd of uh, March. 
Then we go through to week two, which is the 23rd through to the 30th of March, and uh, looks very unsettled for average heights from the Atlantic through the UK and into Europe as well. Looks like we should be starting to lift the jet stream uh, back northwards uh, again. You expect this to be more unsettled. That's what the model is showing. Precipitation anomalies are going above average, so there's more rainfall uh, coming through with that. Um, temperature anomalies are still coming out cold and average, and not as cold as week one, but still below average uh, with the temperature anomalies. It may be a little bit unexpected, as I thought we would be lifting the jet stream a bit further northwards. Um, but I mean, the jet stream is only coming through the country. It hasn't gone to the north of us, so we're not on the mild side of the jet uh, by any means. So I suppose um, it's certainly possible that that could be another colder or cooler than average week. And then we go through to week three and four, takes us from the 30th of March through to the 13th of April. And it did look rather strange, but we thought uh, below average heights in, middle of the, uh, in the middle of the Atlantic and to our northeast. And then maybe some sort of ridging starting to develop close to uh, the UK and maybe close to Central Europe as well. So that means that uh, the precipitation on is going drier again. After that very unsettled week two, we're going back to drier than average conditions uh, during week three and four. Temperatures are still rather disappointing. They're still coming out below average with the temperature anomaly for this two-week period. Do bear in mind it is a two-week period, so it might be something like week three is quite cold and then week four is a little bit milder, something like that could be going on. But overall, if the JMA is right, this does look like a pretty cold month uh, coming up, really, from the middle of March uh, through to the middle of April. Let's see what's happening with CFS V2. So again, these are 500 millibar high anomalies broken down into weekly periods. The first week period taking us from the 16th through to the 22nd of uh, March. So below average heights uh, down to the south and southeast of the uh, British Isles. Above average heights up to our north between uh, Greenland and Scandinavia. We're on the cold side of the jet. The jet's down there. And we're pulling in some pretty chilly air from the east and from the northeast too. So perfect agreement between the two models really for uh, what's happening in the weekend. It looks cold and unsettled. Uh, there will be a risk of more snow and of course we'll deal with that uh, in Snow Watch tonight. Um, week 2, 500 millibar heights from the 23rd through 29th of March look like that. We're reverting uh, westerly, below average heights up to the northwest of the country, above average heights down to the southwest of the country, and bringing the jet stream through. So we're losing that blocking signature, but it's still unsettled, and it's quite cool as well, because the air is coming from the northerly source of the Atlantic, so the air is coming down from around Greenland and Canada, so we're not talking about anything particularly mild, just a little bit less cold, I suppose, than week one, and uh, looking very unsettled there as well. That's running up towards Easter, uh, of course, and by the way, Easter updates will begin at Galsworth this, this weekend. It's within the time frame now, just about up at GFS1, so watch out for Easter 2018 updates starting this weekend. Uh, this is week three. This is going from the 30th of March through to the 5th of April. Um, so we've got above average heights building down to the southwest of the country, below average heights up to the north. It looks like we're trying to build a little bit of blocking again to the far north. But actually this one, so it's a bit complicated, but we might just about be starting to pull up some warmer air from the middle of the Atlantic in that scenario. And it would be starting to settle down a little bit as well. Now, don't run away with the idea it's anything particularly to get excited about. It certainly isn't overly warm, but it might be a little bit milder with the air coming from the central part of the Atlantic Ocean and possibly a little bit more settled, especially for the south and the west. And then we go through to uh, week four, and this looks quite nice, actually. This is the 6th through to the 12th of April. This could be real, true spring getting going with above average heights looking like they're centering almost over the top of the country. Below average heights up to the north. And uh, I think this is just about placing us with the flow of the jet stream on the mild side of the jet as well. So that could be a very pleasant spring-like uh, dry and fairly mild week there from the 6th through to the 12th of April. 
Uh, so temperature anomalies with CFSV2 look like this. Week 1, the 16th, 22nd of March, coming out very substantially colder than average, not just for uh, the UK, but also for much of uh, Europe as well. So we're, well, I wouldn't say we're in the freezer this um, coming week, but we're certainly going to be significantly colder than average again, courtesy of those easterly winds in the week ahead. Uh, week two looks like that, so it's average to a little bit colder than average. It isn't as cold as it is in uh, week one. Both the JMA and the CFSV2 are agreeing on that, that the temperatures for the final week of March do recover somewhat, but still nothing to uh, get overly excited about. And then we go through to week three, which is the 30th of March, which is the 5th of April. Overall, still quite disappointing. Average to a little bit colder than average, really, much of the UK and Europe too. And then we go through to week four. This is the 6th through to 12th of April with that high pressure right on top of the country. And we're coming out with average temperatures then across the UK and much of Europe too. Implying that as we're going deeper into April, we are seeing signs of a recovering temperature as that area of high pressure starts to build close to the country. Bear in mind, there could still be some quite cold nights uh, with that. And then finally, precipitation anomalies with CFSV2. So again, we've got week one from the 16th to 22nd of March coming out average to a bit drier than average, particularly so uh, for the north. Week two precipitation coming out uh, close to average as well. Maybe hinting to go a little bit wetter through uh, week two. Um, week three, um, the city is starting to weaken, so we're coming out with average precipitation in week three. And then week four, as we build that ridge up over the country, it's a weak signal, but certainly I think signs that are going drier than average there, not just for the UK, but much of Central Europe as well. So... To me, it looks as though, and I think the JMA and the CFSV2 are in agreement about this, although the JMA was a bit lowly with the temperatures, but I think it looks like as we get into the middle of April, spring will finally set in, and that high pressure will um, build quite strongly uh, close to the country. They are in agreement, so watch out for that. It's weak. Well, it's all in the same time frame, week four. Um, but I think the hints are there that spring proper starts uh, as we get deeper into April. But between now and then, it looks pretty cool, really, for the rest of uh, March. Got a cold week coming up in the week ahead. I mean, a slow recovery in the temperature, albeit quite unsettled, as we head up towards Easter. And then maybe improvements turning drier and warmer as we get into April. Could all look very different next week. These long-range roles are highly experimental and prone to chopping and changing. So don't take anything that you see in any forecast beyond around five, uh, seven days too seriously. Uh, we'll look at it again next week and it might look different then. Uh, we've got Snow Watch coming up between 7 and 8 o'clock this evening. So come back for that uh, then. But that's all for now and thanks for watching.